bitumen, also known as asphalt, is a highly viscous and sticky black or brown material that is a byproduct of petroleum refining. Bitumen is derived from crude oil during the refining process. It is the heaviest fraction that remains after the lighter components, such as gasoline and diesel, have been separated. Bitumen is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons, including asphaltines, resins, and aromatics. Its composition can vary depending on its source and the refining process. Bitumen is highly viscous at room temperature, which means it is thick and does not flow easily. However, it becomes more fluid when heated. Bitumen plays an important role in modern infrastructure and construction due to its versatility and durability. Bitumen is used for a variety of applications, generally in road construction and maintenance and in the manufacture of asphalt for roads and highways. The estimated global bitumen production in 2023 will be 87 million tons. The majority is used for road paving as an adhesive and a mixture of stone aggregates. Bitumen also has various uses besides road construction. Because bitumen has waterproof properties, good adhesion, and is weather-resistant. Bitumen is also used as a roofing material in the form of bitumen roofing material or modified asphalt sheets, as well as on pipes to protect them from corrosion. And there are many more uses for bitumen in various other industries. Bitumen can be classified into two main categories based on its origin. The first category is petroleum asphalt, which is a byproduct of crude oil refining. The second category is natural asphalt, a geological wonder found in certain regions around the world. A location known for its large natural asphalt deposit is Pitch Lake in Trinidad and Tobago. This area covers 99 hectares of land and is the largest natural asphalt deposit on Earth. This extraordinary reservoir is estimated to hold 10 million tons of asphalt. Tarmac lakes in Trinidad and Tobago, such as Pitch Lake, originate from natural petroleum seeps, where heavy hydrocarbon compounds, including asphalt, emerge from underground reservoirs due to geological processes and accumulate on the surface over long periods of time, creating these unique natural deposits. Meanwhile, to obtain bitumen from petroleum, it begins with the process of refining petroleum, which is obtained from drilling oil wells. This is a complex and important process that converts crude oil into various valuable products. It involves several stages to separate and purify the various components of crude oil. The main and most basic process in petroleum processing is the distillation stage, where crude oil is heated in a distillation tower. As crude oil is heated, it evaporates and rises through the tower, separating into different fractions based on their boiling points. Lighter components, such as gas and gasoline, rise to the top, while heavier components such as diesel, kerosene, and asphalt are at the bottom. This initial separation becomes the basis for further processing. Bitumen that has been separated from petroleum during the refining process can be transported to its intended use location via a variety of methods, depending on factors such as volume, distance, and specific project requirements. One of the most common methods for short to medium distance transport is via tanker trucks. Bitumen is heated to reduce its viscosity, making it pumpable, and then it's loaded into specialized, insulated tanker trucks equipped with heating coils. For longer distances, bitumen can be transported by rail and heated rail cars. Rail transport is suitable for moving large quantities of bitumen overland to various locations. Rail cars are insulated and heated to maintain the bitumen's flowability during transit. Bitumen can also be transported via ships or barges. This is particularly useful for moving large volumes of bitumen over long distances, including international shipments. Specialized heated tanks on ships or barges keep the bitumen in a liquid state during transport. The asphalt transportation method can also use containers or drums, which are usually called asphalt drums. Drum asphalt is one of the most effective methods for packaging asphalt, so it is easy to store and transport in manageable quantities. Before being put into the drum, 
the bitumen will be heated to reduce its viscosity so that it can be pumped and then put into the drum or container. These drums provide a convenient and portable means of transporting asphalt to a variety of locations, including construction sites, remote areas, or areas with limited infrastructure for bulk transportation. Furthermore, drum asphalt minimizes waste, as contractors can use precisely the required amount of bitumen for their projects, preventing excess material from going unused and ultimately saving costs. This budget-friendly packaging method serves as a practical choice for construction companies, offering accessibility, ease of use, and efficient storage while helping keep project expenses in check. Asphalt can not only be obtained by processing petroleum but can also be obtained from natural sources such as oil sands. Oil sands are a type of sedimentary deposit that contains a mixture of sand, clay, water, and bitumen. One of the largest oil sands processing facilities in the world is the Sink Root Aurora North Mine in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. The company has a production capacity of more than 400,000 barrels of synthetic crude oil per day. The first stage of the oil sands extraction process is mining. The process begins with the extraction of bitumen from oil sand deposits, most of which are located in Alberta. There are two main types of mining used to extract oil sands, namely surface mining and in-situ extraction. For oil sand deposits located near the surface, open pit mining is the preferred method. Before oil sands can be mined, layers of rock and soil known as overburdens are cleaned and stored for use in later reclamation. The use of shovels and giant trucks capable of absorbing up to 100 metric tons of oil in one dredging operation is very necessary in this process. This aims to move the overburden and expose oil sand deposits in large quantities and in a faster time. The giant 400-ton trucks are capable of carrying enough asphalt to produce about 200 barrels of oil and can make 30 to 50 trips per shift. After a full load, the giant trucks will carry the loaded oil sand to a very large crushing machine. Inside the crushing machine are large steel teeth that will grind large chunks of ore up to a size of around 16 inches or 45 centimeters. The crushing machine can process 7,000 to 14,000 tons of oil sands in an hour. After that, the sand grain will be transported to the storage silo and put into three very large conveyors leading to the rotary drum breaker. At this stage, warm water will be added, and then the drum will rotate and stir vigorously. This process will create mixture called slurry. The slurry is then moved through a very long pipe to the extraction plant. This process is known as hydrotransportation. The slurry flows in the pipe, and the flow movement that occurs in the pipe will then agitate the bitumen, thereby starting the initial separation process. After hydrotransportation, the slurry enters the first stage of the asphalt extraction process. When the slurry enters the initial separation stage, Water will be added to the slurry to help separate or decompose the bitumen from other compounds contained in it. In this separation process, the bitumen will float to the top of the vessel while the sand will sink to the bottom, and the combination of a mixture of water, asphalt sand, and clay is in the middle. This is known as an intermediate process, where it will continue to the next process to get more bitumen. The results obtained from the initial extraction process are called foam. This foam consists of 60% bitumen, 30% water, and 10% solids. The foam that is formed will be continued in the next process, where the foam will be mixed with paraffin, which will reduce its viscosity, and the bitumen will easily settle to the bottom of the vessel. After it settles to the bottom of the vessel, it will produce bitumen that is free of water and solids, which is clean enough to proceed to the next process, namely the addition of hydrogen compounds. A mixture of bitumen and paraffin is called Dilbert. Dilbert will then be sent to the next extraction process through a very long pipe corridor and will enter the upgrader column, which functions to separate the diluent and light oil, which is part of the bitumen received from the mine. Dilbert will then be sent to the extraction process and then to the refinery using a pipe. Dilbert will be extracted using hot water, hydrogen, 
and high pressure so that it will break the large carbon chains that form asphalt molecules and lighter hydrocarbon molecules and will produce crude oil, which is easy to extract in refineries and will later be broken down into various materials high-quality fuel that people use every day.